New video tonight, serial robbers in action using an assault rifle to rob a liquor store. Aurora police say these guys have held up six places in the last two months, mostly along Montview Boulevard. And that's where 7 News reporter Jacqueline Allen is live. Jacqueline, they just hit the 7-Eleven there last night. Yeah, but they saw a cop car driving by here, got scared and ran in the middle of the robbery. Other clerks we talked to tonight, though, were not so lucky. When these robbers pull a rifle inside an Aurora liquor store, the owner starts thinking about his three children. If something happened, who, who, who going to take care of uh, you know, my family? Scared of retaliation, he doesn't want to show his face, but he wants these guys caught. Police say starting with this pizza place, the robbers have terrorized three businesses on the same block, including the liquor store and an auto shop, plus two 7-Elevens a few blocks away. You never know what they'll do next, how desperate they are. Which is why police are now offering an extra $5,000 on top of the $2,000 Crime Stoppers reward. Surveillance photos show at least two robbers wearing hoodies, covering their faces with bandanas and their hands with latex gloves. Notice Colorado State on one robber's shirt and seniors on another. They are aggressive. You can see one robber pushing a gun against a clerk's back. My reaction was just to give them everything, just get them out of here as fast as they could. The owners at the pizza place robbed first also do not want their identities revealed. Their baby was sleeping here while they were held at gunpoint. Now they lock their doors after dark. We have alarms. We have security system. We're pretty much, you know, got a whole deal on, on protection now. The police say these guys usually take off on foot through back alleys, and they say because all of these locations are so close to each other and because these guys look so young, possibly even teenagers, they do believe that they may live in this area. Reporting live, Jacqueline Allen, 7 News.